<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck, where we play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today we're looking at Ignite Sorcerer, a mostly Ignite deck that runs with the two Sorcerer Pendulums, Astrograph and Chronograph, which actually have quite a bit of synergy with these guys. Uh, I should say right off the bat, though, this is probably not the best build of this you can make. Uh, this is a weekly show. I only have about seven days to try to build and test this thing among the other shows that I put out. Um, so this is more of a proof of concept. Here's some interesting combos. Here's some things you could do. I would love to see someone take this and try to run with it. I think there's a lot of potential here with this archetype that maybe some people haven't seen. But anyway, if you just want the deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate, shorter video. I'll just go over everything in here and explain how it works. Otherwise, in this video, I'm playing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you some of the combos, and hopefully, we'll have a little fun. Alrighty, here we are. First duel versus Sayadim12. An interesting name, and this is very much a go second deck. Uh, you can do stuff going first, there are definitely some plays you can make, but it's much more geared towards going second, and oftentimes OTKing if your opponent can't do much of anything. Luckily, we started with a, a pretty good pretty good set of things we've got right here. Uh, let's go ahead, we're going to activate any two Ignites, but I'm going to pick the higher level ones so that we can get them out of our hands. If you're unfamiliar with the Ignites, they all have the same pendulum effect. Uh, if you've got two Ignites... You can destroy both of them and then add one other or add one ignite from your deck to your hand. It can be any ignite. Um, and let's see, we've got a s two seven scales, so we want a two scale, preferably one we can normal summon, if possible, just so we can. There we go. And then astrograph sorcerer. When a monster is uh, destroyed, when cards on your side of the field are destroyed, you could special summon this. Oh, great, lose one turn. Um, if an effect monster is special summon an attack position, change it to defense position. All right. That'll slow us down. Um, but yes, you can summon this and then grab one monster that was destroyed from your deck to your hand. And I believe that activates in the hand. Yep, so we're good. And that changes it to defense. But it has to be an effect monster, and these are all normal monsters, so... Uh, I could do some other stuff, but I think what I'm going to do is just get our two weakest monsters. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. And we're just going to special summon the fuck out of everything. Because we've got Cavalier, which has 2400 attack, which is quite a lot. Um, this is more defense, but that's fine. We'll probably end up using it as fusion material. Psyframe Driver, because we're playing Hand Trap uh, in the form of Gamma. But this actually works because it's a normal level 6, so as you're seeing, you can Pendulum Summon it and just use it like that. 2,500. A Mystic Tomato, you see. Except if it's Special Summon, its effects will be negated, will they not? But does that activate in the graveyard? A good question. Yep, they still activate in the graveyard. All right, then. You've got to try quite a tricky thing you got going there. But I have many monsters. I can get rid of that, and then you'll summon out something else, and I can still attack into it. Granted, they all go into defense position. Which of the Black Forest I see... What now, holy man? What kind of deck is this? Because that'll determine what I go into from here. Card Trooper, eh? Um, alright. Let's see, so normally what you would want to do is make Heavy Metal Foes Electromite and do stuff, but its effects are going to be negated. Um... Yep, I could make this just because it's a big beat stick. Honestly, I think with this kind of weird anti-meta deck he's doing, 
I'm probably best just leaving everything out here for now. Um, yeah. Yep, we'll just see what he does. And then all the effects come back this turn. Because I've got a lot of stuff that I can do. He doesn't seem like a kind of deck that can OTK me, especially through all this. He's gonna mill. Okay, he's maining skill drain. Phantom of Chaos. So this is some kind of weird OTK deck. He could attack over Margrave. But that's about it, and he's not even going to. So, more more damage? Yo, what's up? I have normal monsters. I'm unaffected by you and your shit. And we don't play any rank 5s, mostly because I've actually cut down the 5s. I have a lot of level 6 monsters. Um, just in case... Oh no, he's not playing... Yeah, he just surrendered. I was like, let's start with the lowest, just in case he has, uh, what's his name? Gores, but, uh, you can't do gores if you have a monster on the field. Um, so we get a win against a, a weird sort of anti-meta trolley kind of deck. But yeah, just, uh, that, that's what I'm talking about. There's some interesting synergies with here. A lot of, a lot of decks, when you play Psyframe Driver, it's just sort of like a bricky card. But with this one, because we play rank 6s, because it's a normal monster, because you can pendulum summon it, it ends up just being another beat stick in your giant array of beat sticks. Uh, so let's go ahead into the second duel. <laughs> ah, the second duel, and my arch nemesis player shows his face. We're gonna go second yet again. Hopefully we won't run into the same kind of shenanigans. We've got a 50 card deck set to pass. Alright, this is looking awfully familiar, and we got essentially the same kind of hand as before. Um, let's just go ahead, activate that. And again, just any two, just you want to get the, the level six or higher's out of your hand, if possible, uh, so you can pendulum summon them back out. Uh, we'll activate that. And this is a level six, so it works with our our level six stuff. We have Utopia Beyond, which helps us OTK, although not in this situation. Um, let's get our other... Let's get our big beater. No fear, Cavalier. Let's go ahead and summon this out. And we'll just do some recursion. Recur the resources! Um, let's see. There's a two. There's a seven. And just in case, let's not pendulum summon everything, because that could be solemn warning. Um, we'll... Yeah, we'll keep the one in our hand. And then I can normal summon. Um, so, Cavalier, you go over here, because I want you to attack. Gallant doesn't matter. Templar doesn't matter. No? Okay. And then I'm going to show you the Astrograph play. Standard Astrograph play. Uh, with Electromite. Electromite, when it's summoned, you can add one card to your extra deck. We're going to pick Pendulum Sorcerer. Then you can blow up one card on the field. To add a card from your extra deck to your hand. Because a uh, card was destroyed, you can activate uh, Astrograph Sorcerer. Get it on the field. I probably should have put that here, um, but that's fine. We'll get another copy of this. And then, because a monster in our Pendulum Zone was destroyed, we get to add a card. Um, and I still haven't Normal Summoned, so let's go ahead and Normal Summon. And then what we do is hope this isn't some kind of Mirror Force we're walking into. Because that would be terrible. No, he's playing Vampires. Alright. Granted, he could have... Ah, okay. Uh, yes, I do want to continue. Because you'll have to pay life points if you want to survive that. I know how this works. Yep, keep paying life points. 
all the life points in Life Point City, paying all the things that you want to pay. Granted, there's 2,000, so there's not much I could do there. Um, but what I can do is make stuff more difficult for him. Um, let me just think about this for a second. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. He's all about the life point control. Let's make that even more difficult for him. He's going to have to pay life points for everything. Um, we'll go ahead and make this. And then we can make... Um, whatchamacallit, this was summoned, no, that wasn't summoned from the extra deck. I probably should have traded that out. Um, that would be destroyed, you could destroy one monster this card points to. Yeah, that, okay, I, m I made a mistake already, because this needs to be effect monsters. And this is not an effect monster. Um, and it has to be three or more, so I can't trade out things. Oh, that's fine. I just wasted my link spider. We'll just do that thing. Oh, actually, now that I think about it... Yeah, see, this is where I came up with, with a lot of my trouble, where I'm like, this can be improved. Because with the extra deck, space is really tight. Going right after that, going to pay a lot of life points, going to take 500 for doing it. Yeah, you can pay life points to bump, bump up. There you go, losing all your things. Um, ah, and then summon it to their side, okay. Ouch. I needed that. Somebody touch my ragek. Paying more life points. Okay, what's my plan of attack from here? Special summon one vampire from your deck, but destroy it during the end phase. Alrighty then. I've got a two. So I need a seven. Let's just go ahead, extra deck, hand, hand. Twenty-one, there's that, there's that thing, um, I should have summoned a leather level six, I would have had a lot of cool stuff I could have done, and now I'm, yep, damn old getting <laughs> Why am I so bad at this game? Oh, and I only have one. Um, let's see, that'll put it up past 28 though, right? Yep. So we'll do that. This will make all the fire monsters more powerful. And I'm all fire monsters. Yep, I had to get it down to one Electromite. Usually, again, I can kind of OTK depending on what I get. He had that one thing that could uh, get around everything that I loved. And then we'll kill this. Good old Chimera. The good thing is, if he gets rid of this Chimera, then I can put my Electromite back into the extra deck because it's a fire monster. Alright, awaken the vampires. Oh yeah, sorry, I got distracted. I was going to say... The, the extra deck, it's it's really tight. I tried to, to make, like, a Trigate Wizard and do stuff with that, and it you can get really close, but you can't quite do it, uh, at least the way I was trying to do it. I tried to make it more ixy focused but then too many cards were in the graveyard. You could probably do more Synchro shenanigans than I'm doing. I only have one Synchro monster in there. Granted, I also only have one tuner, but but still... There's a lot of things you can do with this deck, and I'm sure if you had more time to tweak with it, you could kind of figure out 
So instead I just went for sort of like a toolbox. I'm going to show you all sorts of shit. There's link shenanigans, there's non-links. Um, send cards to the graveyard. Uh, I'm going to say Twin Twisters because he doesn't really have much back row. Who knows what this is? Hasn't been useful so far. My spirit! Give me my Electromite back. I need that. I still have more life point or attack points. Granted, now he can make that. Uh... Ooh, Bram! What are you gonna summon from my graveyard, my my kitty? Yeah, I don't think it. Oh no, that. But it's in defense mode, so I can just run over. Oh, thought it was in defense mode. Yeah, special summon it from the graveyard and face. Oh, it's this card. Um. Gotcha. Um, let's see here. Special summon. I don't have anything that can get over that. Um. I could. High risk, high reward maneuver. Let's go for it. Pendulum summon out of level 6. Yo, what's up? Activate these, destroying them to get anyone. Let's get another level 6, shall we? Here's something you haven't seen in a while. Tribute Summon! Two level 6s on the field can make that thing I've been wanting to make. Because I love making this guy. Howdy ho, neighborino. Ah, oh, solemn warning. You had that the whole time? Ooh, ah, mm. Okay, well. Not much I can do there, then. I'm just wondering why he didn't activate that when I pendulum summoned everything. I just gotta hope he activates this effect so I can negate it. Granted, I'll be left with nothing, but, uh, I could do it. I've got the gamma. I control no monsters. It'd be better if he activated something on my turn so I could get my Omega out. Uh, what are you trying to steal? Jake Steel? Um. Hmm. Yeah, because I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything else. At least that way he'll have less monsters. Ooh, Ash Blossom. But I keep my Gamma. If you had done that beforehand, you could have attacked a bunch, couldn't you? Um, Only that monster can attack for the rest of the turn. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, but now that I now that he knows I have it, he's not gonna activate a monster effect. Ooh, rescue rabbit, my savior ish. Um Let's go for it. Go go rescue rabbit. I'm all normal monsters. Two oh wait. Ha ha fuck you, I still have it. Vampire Domination? Aww. Fuck, man. I shouldn't have sent that Twin Twisters. Uh, oh well. Sadly, the, that solemn, the solemn warning got me. Or the solemn judgment. If he hadn't have done that, I would have had him. I would have had him by half. Or if he hadn't done that. Uh, either way, a good duel. A good duel. Lots of things on either side. Let's go ahead into the third duel. <laughs> Third duel versus Kenzan. What does that even mean? And while I'm here in the third duel, I'm gonna go go and point out these sleeves. They've got the sorcerers on them and the the cavalier, who is who is the most powerful of the ignites. Ah, oh, great brandish, my favorite. Um, but yes, I have I have these. Uh, if you fuck you, you fuck you what, mate? I'm sorry. You, okay, uh, I guess I'm not gonna count that. Uh, this this will just be the thing for the sleeves. If you if you like the sleeves, if you're unfamiliar with the channel, ad free, 
Uh, I only make my money on Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel, if you like what I make, donate on Patreon. And if you do, you get the sleeves. They're not real physical sleeves, it's just the artwork, but I made the artwork myself. And, uh, and, and you can use it on your, your own version of YGO Pro, or whatever you want. I've had people who uh, use this to make mats and stuff. Uh, so that's cool. And not only do you get these ones, you get the ones for every deck I've ever made. You also get access to my Discord. You also get a whole bunch of other stuff. It's all it's all on the Patreon. Just go check it out. It's a, it's a cool, neat thing. And I'll see you in a real third duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are, the real third duel versus Z Fighter. Going second, yet again. Got our Rescue Robert. Rescue Robert. That's what I be I'd like to believe that's his name. Robert the Rescue Rabbit. I, I would watch a show about that. I think Duel Logs makes a show about that. You, you check that out. Rescue Rabbit goes to Dark World and fights the Dark World guy. This, this is pretty neat. He's got a little walkie-talkie. How does he even use that? He didn't have the hands to use that. It's just, it's just there. Um, let's see. Neither player can special summon two or more monsters at the same time. Well, doesn't that just fuck my donkey? Uh... Because I need to use that effect to special summon two or more monsters at the same time. Um, Welp. Let's just go ahead. Do I have any other seven? I have that seven. Yep, let's get our seven. And our two. And what we're gonna do is die horribly. Twin twisters, it's okay. What we're gonna do is get our seven. And we're gonna get our two. <laughs> and we're gonna special summon out... Um, yep, this from the extra deck. We can only special summon one. Because you can't special summon two or more at the same time. Um, and then I could rescue rabbit. I should have done the four, shouldn't I have? No. Because I don't have Baguska or anything that would stall. I had Baguska in here, but uh, stalling doesn't seem to win you the game. It, it It's weird how that works. Um, and I could do rescue rabbit, but I can't make anything except for this guy. Um, but I have two of them, so I can set one to help prevent the OTK. Sadly, you just get this anti-pendulum monster right here. Anti-pendulum dragon. And also anti-rescue rabbit dragon. Because that summons two monsters at the same time. And it just makes me sad. I'm a sad lad instead of a mad lad. Oh hey, a thousand life points. Thanks, I appreciate it. Well, while I'm here being a sad slash mad lad, let me let me go ahead and give a big old hard leg Patreon birthday shout out to Pong. He's a great great old patron. His name's Pong. It's spelled with two G's, and he's a nice friendly old fellow. Uh, and it, it's his birthday this weekend, so thanks to him, he's a big, big $25, $50 donator. I forget exactly, but if you go to 25, you get a shout out. This is his shout-out, and it's a birthday shout-out. Um, but anyway, back to the duel. Let's go ahead and get Templar. Let's go ahead and normal summon our bunny. Can't use the bunny effect, nope. But I can make a Dark Rebellion Ixert dragon. Yo, what's up? I want all of your attack. All right, um, dope, I can't target anything, um, yep, I'm in for a hurtin', but at least I got rid of that, so, pretty sure you can't summon it back, I hope not, no, I'm still gonna take some damage. But maybe then I can finally come up with something. I'll finally, unless he like makes a link and then does the same exact thing again. 
Discard that. Okay, he's getting the one thing. Destroy that, but now it can't attack, and he can't make an Ixie with it, because he's got that. Okay, now it's Needle Fiber. This doesn't exist yet! Why do people insist on using what doesn't exist? Is it, well, I mean, I guess it exists in Japan, but he's not in Japan, most likely. He's just using these things. Oh, and he brought it back. Yep. Sadly, I just cannot compete against Anti-Pendulum Dragon with my Pendulum deck that is almost entirely Pendulums. A sad state of affairs. We'll be back if something changes, but most likely his complete ability to lock me down is just going to lock me down completely. <laughs> Alright, first duel versus Eke? Eek? Hard to say. I remember Eek the Cat. Do you remember Eek the Cat? He was a cat who eked out his existence, doing things and stuff. We're going second, which is good for us. Hopefully, we will not be playing against an anti-pendulum deck yet again. Or a deck with anti-pendulum things. Nope, we, we should be decently good. I said this is one of those, uh, it, it's, it's one of, like any pendulum deck, you know. If, if, if you start and your opponent goes first, and they just set anti-spell fragrance, you're just dead. There's pretty much nothing you can do. A sad state of affairs, but uh, that's that's just how it goes. Um, Alright, so you paid a thousand life points to summon Link Karibo. whoop de frickin' do uh, Let me see what I can do about that. I think I can do a thing or two, but I might want to worry more about this back row. Um, who knows what that could be. Um, well, it's probably his fusion. I probably want to try to make Photon Strike Bouncer if I can, and I think I might be able to. Um, so let's normal summon this guy. He's just a cute little bunny rabbit. Just rabbiting his way around. You need two normal monsters, level four or lower. I want to pick the ones that, uh, that, that I don't have in my, oh. Really? Really now? Okay, no, really. Um, let's see. Two and seven. Let me think about this. Yeah, I need another six. So, I'll get that, and I need another two. So, what I need... Yeah, I need another two. Wait, nah, I fucked that up. I fucked that up, man! Um... Yeah, I think I got... No, I can't make the thing I want to make, sadly. And... <sighs> Why is my brain so full of fuck? I cannot talk and duel at the same time, it's difficult. Uh, let's go ahead, one of these, and one of these. Howdy ho. Doing things you know. Um, yeah, let's go ahead, make more monsters. More monsters all day, every day. Astrograph for fun. Get a level six in there. Get the Astrograph back out. Astrograph is like, yo, what's up? I like soup. Who doesn't like soup? Comment in the comments if you don't like soup. I actually don't really like soup all that much. Uh, we'll get another Gallant. We'll gallantly hail a hoe and draw a card. Good, that makes this live again. And then next turn I can Pendulum Summon things. So, let's attack that. He'll make the attack zero. I won't give a fuck. And then this will attack for 2,500. And clearly he doesn't have the fusion that he wants, otherwise he would have fusion summoned. That's what I'm saving this for. If you're unfamiliar with this, nice little tech card. Send one special summoned monster on either side of the field of the graveyard to special summon a level 4 or lower normal monster from your hand. 
So you can just, like, if he gets out his thing, send it to the graveyard. Summon this. Normal summon something. Do some things. So you can take that. He can't attack with it. It's gone, but he can't attack with it, so I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're trying to do. Get a regular relinquished. Make another Link Karibo. <laughs> Link Karibo for days. Link Karibo for days. Um, let's see here. Uh, do I have another two? I do not. Do I have another level six monster? I have two of them. Okay. I can do what I want to do. Because I like level six monsters. Let's go. Extra deck. Extra deck. Hand and hand. Oh, I should have kept one for Faustian Bargain. Uh, that's fine. 1700, that's some pretty nice. Um, Squire. Yep, defense mode. Oh, and he just surrendered. I was going to make Photon Strike Bounder so I could negate his effect and attack into it. Either way, I think I had game. Sadly, he could not do the things he wanted to do. Hopefully we can get a game where I actually do like a back and forth and still win. So far the, 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 the duels have just fallen into two categories. Me stomping over at people and uh, back and forth where I lose. So let's see if we can change that up. I, I say that as though I can control anything about this. It's just, it's just random. It's just whoever shows up. <laughs> Alright, fifth duel versus Pla. Not quite player. Maybe he erased a little bit to have an original name. He knew that I wasn't accepting players. Yeah, if I ever, if I get, once I get someone of one name on there, I don't accept that same name again. I don't like to do the rematches. I like to give you guys interesting, unique duels to watch. So, once I've done a player battle, I don't accept any one name player, I'll just, like, exit it. But Pla is not quite player. Oh, hey. It's actual galaxies, perhaps, and not just making, ci no, he's making Cyber Dragon Infinity. Okay. Well, while he's making Cyber Dragon Infinity, I want to go ahead and give another hard leg Patreon shout-out to one of our newer patrons, who goes by the name The Gemini God, who's, who's our first, as far as I know, French-Canadian uh, donator from Quebec, which is a cool place. I'm not sure if you've ever been to Quebec. I haven't, but I hear it's a cool place, and, uh, you know, French things. So thanks to him, he, he's a, I appreciate the donation. He's helping making the channel stay strong. Thanks to him down in the comments. Um, okay, so he can negate one thing. Um, but I can do many things. Let me just, what would I like negated the least? Um, let's see. Yep, let's activate this. Hmm? Possibly? And we'll activate... This was a 2, right? Yeah, we'll get our zero attack guy. Squire, who's just like, Come at me, bro! Whatever, nerd! Ah, a bad decision. Really? Um, what was this again? 2, so I got my other 7. Um, now let's put him in here. I've got another one. And I can special summon all the things. One's over here. One is right here. And the other, the other is there. And then we'll just do our Electromite plays, because why wouldn't you put more monsters on the field if you have more monsters to put on the field? Um, where is Astrograph? There he is. Nope. Blow up a thing. Get a thing. Summon a thing, perhaps? Yes. I'll put him right here, where he's safe. Um, and actually, yeah, we're going to get the one that we can normal summon. Although that doesn't help us. Oh, wait, no, we, we happen to draw into Rescue Rabbit. Normal summon Rescue Rabbit. Yo, what's up? More guys. And then, now that I've got those two, I can make Doolittle Chimera. 
That'll boost the attack over Cyber Dragon Infinity. So assuming he doesn't have an Honest, I think we're set. And then lots of damage. That's a lot of damage. Um, and then I can't really make a play. I can make a friggin'... I can make a Boral Load. That might be nice to sit on. Casey's got... Oh no, Rageki will help him either way. That's the main weakness with this. If you can't OTK, which I haven't done yet, I'll probably have to end up showing replays just to prove this thing can OTK. Because so far, it has not OTK'd. Um... But yeah, if you can't OTK, there's not a whole lot of defensive plays you can make. Like I said, I tried to make Trigate for that negate. Um, but it ended up not working all that well. And I tried to do, what was the other one? Yeah, I tried to make more, more like, uh, synchro shenanigans, but you don't get, you don't get a chance to synchro shenanigan. Because really the only one I could, I could fit in there was the, uh, the, the, the Psyframe Gamma. Which we have another way to summon it. It's not just there for, uh, for negating things. Oh, hey, this guy can steal stuff. I don't like that. Um, but no monsters can attack except for that monster. So if he uses that, then then I'm pretty set. And he's made this thing for a link, but he can't actually link with it. But he could steal one of my monsters and link with it, but then... Um, cannot attack your opponent directly. All right. So he could still wipe my field. And while I can Pendulum Summon some things back, I can't Pendulum Summon all the things back. Blowing up my Astrograph. Rude. Highly rude. What is this thing? Um, target one card on the field and destroy it. Uh, okay. And then... <laughs> and then link it off for this guy. Because I guess he's got two up... Oh, no, he can do other stuff. He's just got plays for days. I mean, nothing can attack me directly, right? The combined ranks of all monsters... Do you have a level 5? You might have a level 5, or rank 5. Nope. This firewall? Alright. Ouch, my kitty cat. But I can still use that effect. Um... Yeah, I think if I send that back, if I don't get something in my hand, then I'm not going to be able to make it. If I send this back, then I have more plays. Um. Yep. It may not be the right decision, but I'm making it. At least then I can Pendulum Summon. All right. So, I can make a... Can I make a rank 4? I can make a rank 4. Could have won without the restriction. Yeah, but I mean the restriction are part of your card. It's not like... Um, let's see. Hand. Hand. Um, not the level 3. Level 4. Oh, and I can point to one. Um, let's get this, just in case. Uh, I don't think the placement is important. There we go. Let's go ahead and make... this guy... And then we'll have that attack, 
gain that much attack. And I believe that is GG, good sir. Bada bingo, bada bango. So there we go, we had a thing. We actually did some things. Cool stuff happened. I'm happy. Let's go to the sixth duel. Okay, here we are. Seventh duel versus Yucca, or Yuka. I can never remember that. Not sure if you watch the legs plays. You should, by the way. You should check them out. We played a game called uh, The Flame and the Flood, where you had to, like, survive on the, the Mississippi Delta after a huge flood. And yucca was one of the things you could eat. Or yucca. Again, I can't remember it. I just remember it's like a real plant that, like, you can eat it if you cook it. But if you don't, then it's, then it's like, poisonous. So it's really yucca. Ha 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 ha. It's like a pun or something. Uh, okay. We're playing against spellbooks. Which are like brandish maidens, but but before brandish maidens, where like you just normal summon a monster and then activate a whole bunch of spells and then draw more spells and then activate more spells and then end on one monster normally. All right, he's he's just doing that. Uh, okay, sounds good to me. Uh, let's go ahead and get our things set up because I'm not worried about any of his stuff. Rescue rabbit. Let's go ahead and get our level 4 that we do- oh, we do have it in our hand. Uh, that's fine. We'll set to make sure. You always gotta be careful when you're- when you're going around with Electromite shenanigans. Um... Because, like, if I played this here, I wouldn't be able to plus... If I- if I played this and then destroyed it, I wouldn't be able to plus because I have no more to search with Astrograph. This, is a, this deck can get kind of complicated. You gotta keep track of everything you have and everything you don't have and what you've used. And There's like all the monsters are pretty much interchangeable other than their scales and their attack. Uh, they don't really have special effects, but you still, gotta, you still gotta keep track of what you have and what you don't have. So let's get that. Hey, I drew a thing. Um... Let's go ahead and put these two out, and then I'll show you another cool combo real quick. You can activate this, because we've got our Chronograph Sorcerer, and grab our one with the highest attack. And then when they're destroyed, you can activate Chronograph Sorcerer. And when Chronograph Sorcerer is summoned, you can summon one monster from your hand. So whichever one you want to summon. Hey, would you look at that? And, uh, oh, I already normal summoned. I want to keep that in the hand for the Faustian bargain, even though... Oh, yeah, I couldn't use it anyway. He doesn't have any things. Um, so we'll just attack over everything for fun. And he surrendered. There you go. Kind of oppressive. Like I said, it can OTK if you, if you, if you get things set up right. It's, again, when I'm talking, I kind of lose focus, but, uh... If you can get, like, Astrograph Sorcerer plus Utopia Beyond plus Heavy Metal Foes Electromite and then literally anything, I think that's like 7,800 damage, and then literally anything else, then you, you, can, you can OTK. Um, which wouldn't be that difficult. If I had gotten the level 6 instead of this, then I could have made Utopia the Beyond, which makes all monsters zero. So then 25, 3,000, 1,800. Uh, if I could have summoned this... Which I think there was a way I could have done that. I could have Pendulum Summoned first and then blown up my scales. Uh, yeah, that would have worked. So there are things you, you can play this deck better than I'm playing it. It's just difficult to talk to you guys and play the deck at the same time. Uh, but anyway, let's go into the 7th Duel. Okay, 7th Duel versus Med MD. Going second, yet again. The movie, the game. Oh hey, and we actually started with our Gamma. So if he activates a monster effect that we want to stop, we could stop it during his turn. And if not, then I, because I will might not get a chance to do it, uh... The thing about Cypher M Gamma, can't be normal summoner set, must be special... Well, you know, I'll get a chance to do it now. Um, let's see here. Seven and two, so I want to get a... another two. We'll do that. We'll get a two scale. Where's a two scale? I think our cavalier is a two scale. So yes, then when monsters were destroyed, special summon chronograph. 
And this can only be special summoned by a card effect, which means... You special summon it. Hey, hey. And then immediately just go into Cyframe Lord Omega, because why not? Hey, what's up? Well, I can't Pendulum Summon now, but granted, I can only have one thing to Pendulum Summon. So, we'll just attack with that. We'll save our Pendulum Scales for later. We'll assume that he can't OTK us. Um, and we'll set a card, just to spook him. Just to give him the old Rawchester spooks. I'm not sure if you've been to Rawchester, but it can be pretty spooky from time to time. Um, Mech Knights? Mech Knights. No one would set something in front. Well, let's just make sure he can't do that again, shall we? We'll get rid of a card, and we'll open up the zones. Uh... How about no? Now you can't summon any things. I know how Mech Knights work. I've been to Mech Knight College. I was saying something earlier. Now I can't remember what I was saying. Probably something stupid, knowing me. I say a lot of stupid things. I tell you what. Uh. Oh, they're both twos. Um. I could destroy them and get a um, uh, not two. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we're good for now. I'm just gonna attack over this. Hope there's no honest. It might be an honest. Nope. And then I'm just gonna be like... Adios! Because that's the thing about Mech Knights, is they kind of rely on your opponent having cards on the field to do things. The only way they can summon a monster, if you don't have a monster on the field, is to summon something in the extra monster zone, like with, uh... Whatchamacallit? Uh... Instant Fusion. Or a lot of people have been using, uh... Alistair the Invoker to summon an invoked monster. If you're unfamiliar with the Mech Knights, they need to have two cards in that column to special summon. And since you can only set traps, if you have a monster in that column, you can't summon a monster there. So they either have to extra deck, or they have to, like, your opponent has to have something. So I could have just bounced back and forth for days. If he's playing pure Mech Knights, he don't, he don't stand a chance. Uh, let's go ahead into the 8th duel. <laughs> Welcome to the 8th duel. We've got fun and games. Things are being really rough. And where is Aimless James? He's in the jungle. He's in the jungle! I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was going to say beforehand, I got, I got kind of distracted. Oh, hey, magicians. Dark magicians, not pendulum magicians. But yeah, using that same combo with uh, Chronograph Sorcerer, you can make uh, Ignister, because Chronograph's a pendulum monster. And again, it's one of those, like, I originally had him in here because Ignister's great. He's one of the only synchro monsters that's still limited. But uh, in order to make him, you need to have, like, two Ignites and then the Sorcerer and then a Gamma that you don't use. So it ends up being kind of, kind of meh. It's one of those things, like, this This deck would be amazing toolbox if you had, like, a, 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 a 20-card extra deck. Just, like, five more cards would give you so much more options. Because you've got all the links, you can put another link spider in there, you got these these guys doing their things, having a dandy old time. Um, hmm. And we started with our Astrograph. So again, we're going to get our two, we're going to get our two level six guys. Or not to level six, this is only level five, that's why I only play two of it. Um, and let's get... Trying to think, I don't really need to stop monster effects, so I think I'm just going to go for a smaller level that we don't already have. And then Astrograph comes out. And he just surrendered. He just surrendered because I guess he didn't want to watch pendulum effects. <coughs> Hard to say, he couldn't have known I had Twin Twister. Um because that would really put a damper. Twin Twister on, on Dark Magicians, I tell you what. As soon as he activates that Eternal Soul, bad things are happening. But I did do a play, so I'm going to count it. We'll go ahead into the ninth duel. <laughs> and here we are in the ninth duel versus Hades himself, the Lord of the Underworld. Our name is also somewhat related to the Underworld, perhaps. 
It depends who you ask. This is not a reference to the office, by the way. And how about no? Even though this makes our other gammas useless, but I can still summon them with the other things. I probably should have made this the, the negation, because I'm probably never going to use Gamma again. And Gamma's a big, big negatorator. Altergeists! Not a big fan of their altergeists. Their big old control base deck. Doing combos. Summoning things. Summoning things off of things. Oh hey, returning stuff to my hand. I don't mind that one bit. Uh, a boosh? And also, perhaps, a Bosch. And let's go ahead and activate that. Let's get our big attacker. Because it's fine, we're going to have an Astrograph, and the Astrograph's going to grab our other level 6. And then there's no way you can send back everything you want to send back. Um... Oh, okay. Whatever, nerd. Um, actually that hurts quite a bit. Sadness. It's okay. One second. You can target one other Altergeist card. Return it to the hand. Okay. Extra deck and hand. Yo, what's up? Um, yeah, and then I'll get his trap. I'll attack him for 24 unless he wants to send it back to the hand. But then it's gone. Um, and then... Yeah. I'll do my plays anyway, because I haven't normal summoned. I hope not. Nope. Normal summon. Now that your stuff's off the field, I can do my combos in peace. Go plus one off of some stuff. Uh, where are you at, other Astrograph Sorcerer? I call upon your power. My monsters are spells, and my spells are monsters. Everything does everything. I'm like a monster energy drink. And I'll just get, uh, oh, I could add an Astrograph. Yeah, I think I'll add an Astrograph, because an Astrograph was destroyed. Astrograph targets Astrograph, summons Astrograph, gets Chronograph. <laughs> Neat. Uh, what can I make? Three Burst Dragon. This is good against decks that have, like, Mirror Forces and stuff like that. Um, and I've already Pendulum Summoned once, right? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Then when both of these get destroyed, I can do other things. Granted, I can't search anything because I already got my Astrograph Sorcerers. Frickin' Altergeist. These are apparently meta in the OCG, and I believe it. They're another one of those decks, though. I don't know, there's just so many decks that I feel like, you know, if you sided out six, uh, like, Spell Trap. If you sided out, like, three cards and added in three more Spell Trap removal and just had, like, a shit ton of Spell Trap removal, there'd be, like, nothing that your opponent can do. Um, special Summon in Attack Position. And then when this is summoned, you can Special Summon Altergeist. Summon in Loops. Summon in Loops. Doop, 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 doop. Summon in loops. Ooh, boop, boop. Bomp. Um, let's see. Alright, well, what I can do... Howdy. Okay. Welcome. Uh, let's see. Hand. That's a six. This has a lot of attack. I hope you like a lot of damage, because you're about to take a lot of damage. Let's see. Barabushk.
What? Oh, uh, I don't know how I forgot that. I just I just had that happen a minute ago, and it, it didn't work out very well. Um, that's fine though. This can attack over this, right? Yep. And this can attack over this. And that means this can attack. And also... Destroy this guy. And... Huh. Well, that was a mistake. Um... I think... Can he summon himself off his own destruction? Yep. <laughs> Let's do that then. Hey, rescue rabbit. Um. Yeah, let's see if we can get him to negate some things. Oh, he can only use it once per turn. All right. Deck thinning then. The movie, the game. The motion picture experience of a lifetime. Let's go ahead and make... Uh, drawing more cards? I think I want to draw more cards. That'd be kind of neat. Just has to be monsters with different names, right? Uh, yeah? Oh, whoops. Oh, it has to, yeah, four monsters with... Yeah, I'll get them all back. Let's go ahead and put... This is a one. Do I have a seven? Yeah, I do have a seven. Doesn't matter what order they go into. Um, and I already pendulum summoned. Can I just make him bored? Can I bore him to death? I might be able to bore him to death. <laughs> that would be neat. Um, yeah, I could make this. It does piercing, and he can't activate stuff in the battle phase. Or I could just plus some more. Yeah, let's just plus some more, hopefully. Oh, yeah, I forgot Rescue Rabbit. Okay. Yeah, I probably did more stuff than I should have. Way more stuff than I should have. This is a neat card. It just attacks directly, and then you can send a card to the graveyard. I'm pretty sure it doesn't target. Yep. No, it, it, is, it does target. Okay. Uh... Activate? You gonna, you gonna negate? Nope. Okay. Um, let's see. What's in my extra deck? That has a lot of attack, and that has a lot of defense. Not that it'll help me. Probably should have swapped those up. There we go. Attack? Oh, this gets an effect. These things have too many effects! Can you tell I'm kind of tired? Then when he activates a trap, he can summon it. So will he activate a trap? Probably. Full of traps. Your other traps can't be destroyed. And that lets him summon another thing. And that thing lets him summon another thing. Uh, no. I'll just attack this thing. But now you have no more traps to activate, so you can't special summon. Yeah, I'll kill that. I wonder why I didn't send this back. You want to steal it or something? Oh, now he has another trap to activate. Um, trap to bait. Uh, that's a level four lower monster with with this, right? Yeah, so I couldn't use ignite veteran. Okay. Yeah, I probably it's it's weird. I I, I inherently want to like link everything up and summon stuff because I'm always worried about Raigeki, but I keep forgetting that like. 
ooh, pardon me, that I don't have anything to stop Raigeki, and that especially against a deck like this where he's trying to out-resource you, the best thing you can do is just have as many things as possible. Um, let's see. Two monsters from the extra deck. That was only during the damage step it can negate stuff. Which might be useful. I can't destroy his traps anyway. Yeah, let's just go ahead and special summon a veteran back out. Cannot be targeted by card effects. Special summon it in attack mode. Alright. And then that summon, and that kind of, yeah, it's just combos. Ugh. This will still count as a trap. Uh, yeah, I want to continue the, the battle. Get rid of that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I want to get rid of that. I mean, you can send stuff back to my hand. I'm just going to summon it back out again. I just got to remember not to basically not make any links. Okay. Um. Yeah, don't make any links. And then hopefully now that this is gone, I can get rid of his things. Because I don't have very many monster effects, and I don't have many other effects. We'll see. We'll be back. <laughs> yep, well sadly he managed to get a thing. He got his uh, Hexia that negated my Twin Twister, and then... Yeah, it's just this big, complicated web of things that does stuff. It makes me sad. It's not fun to play against. Uh, but anyway, I lose this one to Altergeist. To the tenth duel we go. Read. That's the tenth duel. We're back. I took a little. I took. I took a little break. I thought it would. Uh, I thought it would re-energize me. I would come back for this last duel and have the heart of a warrior, but, uh, I I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm done. We did, it's, it's, either way, we did pretty decently. I think I showed off just about, oh, hey, Boojins. I haven't seen Boojins in a dog's age. Um, yeah, I think it's probably, let's, let's put, put bets. Will he surrender once he sees he's playing pendulum shenanigans that take up a million years? Or will I actually be able to OTK someone? Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it be nice if we were younger? Older? Wouldn't it? Yeah, older. I forgot for a second. Being younger would not be all that nice. Uh, mm, uh, mm. Let's try one of those. I like to blow stuff up. Who doesn't like to blow stuff up? I'll activate this one. Yo, what's up? And a draw. And let's go ahead and get another level 6, shall we? Uh, yeah, that's 2 and 7. Alright. So we're set. We'll get that, and that'll summon the Chronograph Sorcerer. This is a level 5. I don't, uh, why am I so dumb? Why am I so dumb? I could have been a smart boy, but I chose to be dumb. 
Yep, if I had done that, then I could have finally done that OTK I have, I've been blathering on about this whole time, but instead, nope. Uh, I mean, we might still OTK. Depends if he's got Crane or Honest. Or an Honesty Crane, perhaps? Let's go ahead and test the waters with our level 5 man. Nope, okay. Does this get something when it's destroyed? Oh, hey! It's Bujin Mikakazuzi. Mikukarukazu. Uh, 1600? Uh, 1800? Uh, also 1600? 2000? Well, hey, at least I got one of those OTKs I've been talking about, even though it wasn't the one that I wanted. If I had gotten a level 6 instead of this guy, then I could have just, like... Well, I mean, it would have been pretty much the same thing. But then you would have been able to see, like, if he had, like, three monsters, they all become zero, and then you could just attack for game. Either way, let, we, we did a thing. The thing's over. It was fast. Let's go on to the end screen. <laughs> so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ignite Sorcerer. We went seven and three. A fairly good showing. Hopefully, you, you saw some interesting combos here. I showed how these uh, proc off of the effects... Uh, we made some synchros, we made Ixies in both the 4, 6, and 7 variety, as well as a whole bunch of links, plus spicy tech of the week, Faustian bargain, and you can even throw in hand traps in here, especially if you wanted to make more synchros. A lot of the hand traps happen to be tuners. So, yet again, take this idea, make something with it, let me know what you're able to come up with, because I think this has some potential, I just don't have the chance to explore it. Uh, next week, I'll be doing a Patreon request. I'm not sure which one yet, because I have a bunch to choose from. I'll have to look them over. But it should be something, uh, interesting. Most of the Patreon requests are, are interesting. But until then, good luck, and have fun. Mm -hmm.